hi guys happy new year happy 2022 i hope you all had a fabulous christmas and new year there is so much that i want to catch up on in today's vlog then just continue to watch like about you so dangerous i get this so hi guys if you're new here welcome my name is Juliet. welcome to my channel if you are one of my lovely subscribers coming back thank you so much for coming back if you haven't already subscribed there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere i would love for you to click that and stick around it's completely free and entirely up to you and i would love for you to come along on my 2022 journey without further ado let's get into today's video okay so happy new year merry christmas welcome to january i don't know about you guys but i kind of still don't really feel like the new year has started because it was bank holiday and then it was like in the middle of the week and then i just have felt like i'm i'm not fully into the new year yet um but first things first thirty thousand subscribers oh my gosh i can't believe i've done it thank you so much to everybody for subscribing and sticking around um 2022 let's hope it's going to be a better year this year i've got so much to share with you and i am fully devoted to youtube this year um i think the last couple of years have been really really difficult with everything that's been going on i've really had to sit down and i'm on a new focus this year of really giving back to you guys and hopefully going in more of a direction that I wanted to so just a massive thank you to everybody who supported me um as a thank you you know I've been doing giveaways stick around to the end of this video you never know what's going to happen um I will make sure that I list all the winners on my community page because there's still the decenio the tom jewelry huggies and the favorites that need to be announced elephant in the room I had my hair done yesterday so it's all my extensions out it's all been chopped off again nice and fresh for the new year um so when you go when i do put clips in you will notice i've got my extensions in because i couldn't have my hair done over christmas my poorly hair just had covid so that is why there's a change up of hair and um, what else was i going to say yeah i would love to hear from you guys on what you want to see so as you know my channel's very much a lifestyle channel i've not really got a niche if i do a haul i show you what i've bought if i have a bad week i show you if i have a good week i show you if i have parcels i unbox them i show you what i'm using hair beauty try and find cheaper alternatives that kind of thing but i would love to know what you want to see more of i'm open i always love to hear back from you and i will start getting back to comments now because as you know i'm one person that likes to get back to every single individual and it's just been crazy so the reason it has been crazy one of them was I did the boys a games room for Christmas which is kind of when I fell off the face of the earth because it was like two three days before Christmas Eve and um, we had to get it done because this is what they asked for so yeah let's go back and see a little bit of that journey <laughs> everything is empty now see me stripped dad's here to help yay um we're thinking we're just gonna wallpaper over the wallpaper and this is the wallpaper I've got it's from Wilco's, it's a super fresco, £9 a roll, so I hope I've got enough over there. And uh, yeah, we're going to start. sort everything out my back hurts and I'm tired but hopefully it can be full steam ahead tomorrow again this room filled fingers crossed okay so it's the next day I thought we'd give you a bit of an update so we have 
got the units in and the telly on. Um, it's looking so good. I'm so happy. Um, I've managed to put all the board games. So this is like all adult board games like Monopoly, Scrabble, chess, things like that, poker. And then in this one, I've got all like the kids games in there. And then this one has got a duvet in, but I'm going to empty that out in a minute. Um, I've got my prints ready to go on. If you saw my Decenio video the other day, these are the prints that we've got from the wall. I think they're going to go on that wall there. Um, and then on this wall, we've just got to put a unit in here, which I'm just emptying out. So I'll show you, I'll show you the state of everywhere else. So... In our bedroom we've put the full unit in there and I'm using it for my stock. I'm just going through the toys that we keep in and the books um, and then in here <gasps> it's horrendous still like look at it <sighs> but only mainly because I've got to clear all this off and so this is just rubbish and it's Christmas Eve and it's like five o'clock so we're just going to try and get it as best as we can. I'm just going to finish emptying this out get this out and then we can hopefully start putting some of the toys back then. And this is it. It's finished. I can't believe we got it done on time. Ignore the filler. <laughs> um, I still need to also paint the skirting down there because I don't know why I never did that, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Those are the Decenio prints up there. Um, and then this is the day bed and what we did is we bought these LED lights from Amazon and ran them all the way around. That little light is from um, b and it was £20. And then these are the units we used to have in our living room that we've been storing. And then we've moved the Xbox up from in the living room as well. So they've got that up here now. This was our old telly from downstairs. And then these, these legs are awesome. We bought them from Amazon again because we didn't have a stand because this used to be on the wall. And I think they were only about £14 on Amazon Prime and they're universal. And they go like onto the back of the telly like a stand. And um, we just swap this over and set all this up. So yeah. agree with me that Leo's face was priceless and it was worth every tear, every missed night's sleep. It was worth it all. As you probably noticed the boys aren't on my channels very, channel very often. They do like to be involved and they do love it. So I try to kind of give them the best of the both worlds but I am trying to wean away from it as they're getting a bit older. Um, but the moments like that are just absolutely priceless. There's also a couple of things that I bought for myself, which I think I might have tried out for you actually, so let's do a bit of an unboxing. I'm going out tonight and I thought I would quickly um, do an unboxing of some things that I've bought. Um, I will link everything below. So, this is a really exciting parcel for me to open because I was umming and ahhing, but in Black Friday they had some amazing deals on some of my shall i say um dream list like wish list that i never really thought i would spend if you are kind of new to my channel you'll know i love my favorite is the bb cream um i've been trying out this new concealer which is just a cheap ish um concealer from is this maybelline yeah, Maybelline. And everything I buy is relatively cheap, reasonably priced. And I haven't bought all of everything because, you know, obviously I'm not going to do that. But in the Black Friday sale, I picked up some goodies. Got everything in here for under £100, which I think is really, really reasonable, really good. Um, but I'm going out tonight and so I thought I would try 
these so i've purchased the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation now i not really fun of wearing foundation i've said before because my skin now is a little more mature and so i just feel like it looks too cakey and it just doesn't look right and then i just normally wear a bb cream but i have bought this as well so this was an amazing offer this is the by terry cc ccc cc cream in shade sunny flash um i've been recommended both of these by my friend jess who's also my age she's in her 30s and she just said they are great because they're not too cakey which i'm really excited to try so this one you can use on its own or under makeup to give a bit of a glow i don't know whether i'm going to try that yet i think i'm going to keep this more for like more like for summer if you don't really want to wear any makeup at all it's like just to give you a bit of a dewy glow i think or it can be worn underneath and then i've also purchased the ysl touch a, is it touch eclat sorry if i've just ruined the french language this is to replace well not replace because i've still got a little bit left but i bought the aldi dupe um which i love it's literally i've been wearing i've worn it every single day since i bought it but i have a feeling i'm going to come to the end of this soon because i've had it for nearly a year and i don't think they're going to redo it because of the like the copyright copyright no, that's not the word do you know what i mean like the patented claims or whatever so i thought i would buy this shall we just quickly have a look actually and see what the what it looks like okay so this is the aldi one and this is the ysl one and um, the ysl one's a little bit smaller a bit of a deeper gold but the function of the pen and everything is looks almost the same through oh two and a half mil in the ysl one and 2.8 mil in the aldi one so the aldi one is actually bigger um but yeah i'm gonna give that a go as well so i'm gonna just try the foundation on camera for the first time ignore matt and leo they're downstairs playing fifa and they're so loud let me just put my headband on i have to ignore the fact that i'm missing two gems out my headband i'm so upset about it more than two gems i don't know what happened but anyway let's pop that in and pop my hair back right so oh try this foundation i'm gonna be well early because i'm not going out till quarter past six and it's only two o'clock but anyway so this is the giorgio armani it is in the shade six i hope it's going to be the right color um, but again it was recommended from my friend so i hope it's the right one so this is what the bottle looks like it is a beautiful bottle obviously it's going to be for the price i'll leave the price on the screen here and then what i paid for it but i got it from look fantastic who i have previously worked with before um but this isn't sponsored obviously i bought this with my own money Ooh. so it's a pump bottle now I'd love to say that I'm going to put this on with a brush, but I think I'm just going to put it on my fingers because that's how I put all my foundation on. So it comes out quite runny. You see? It's quite a runny formula, which is good. I like that. I'm just going to put it on like I put my BB cream on. Formula is really silky. It's a really silky formula. Um, it's not heavy coverage at all it feels a lot like my bb cream if i'm honest um and it's very it is quite oily in a good way just gonna put this up ignore lucas he's in the bedroom with me just don't tell you <laughs> i probably should put use like a, a brush or something more professional but I wouldn't be me, would I, if I didn't do everything with my fingers. Right, it's actually a beautiful foundation. It doesn't feel cakey. It's not a massively high coverage, as you can see. Like, you can still see my blemishes. Um, really like it. It feels silky. It feels like it, it says. It doesn't feel heavy on my face. Um, can you see on my fingers, like, how it's very dewy? And that's definitely how it looks, like, very dewy, but... I really really like it it's just a subtle 
foundation and I like that because I don't like I say I don't like anything too cakey so you know you know what I like it but but not for every day because I, I would I would rather use my BB cream every day but for going out yeah I think that's good so I'm going to try now the YSL touch a clay touch a clay touch a clay what does that mean is it like touch of class I don't know so this is the YSL concealer I bought it in shade 0.5 vanilla um and then i'll show you what this is like i never want to push these too much because once you push them too much it starts coming everywhere hello oh, oh see that happens anyway i'm gonna try this under my eyes it's definitely a thicker formula than the aldi one 100 percent because the one from aldi is almost like um really uh sheer really sheer the more and more i'm looking at this foundation the more and more i'm liking it the armani one is drying it's so nice it's giving like such a flawless look it's not cakey it hasn't gone into any lines got my bags oh my gosh um <laughs> it's covered up the little few blemishes that i've had um yeah i'm happy with that i do think i have to say it is giving my face more of a look just a natural look um as in it's just not they're just really nice formulas and i really love how the um it's really difficult in this light um but i really do love how the foundation has gone on it's just, it's just really subtle really natural i love it so i'm just going to top it off now with my pound lamb bronzer <laughs> now another one another another product that i really want to try it's which will be next on my list is the um chanel bronzer the cream bronzer because i really want to try a cream bronzer but i have seen the refi is it refi or refi i think it's refi and um, they that's a company a smaller company that do like a cream bronzer so i could try that and i have also seen the anastasia beverly hills they that brand does a cream bronzer so if anybody's got any of those let me know how you get on but i, I think i'm going to try the chanel one when i can branch out to that but for now i just wanted to try the armani foundation and the um ysl concealer if i'd have thought about it it probably would have been a better investment for me to buy the bronzer because i wear more bronzer but you can all him in the background he's just playing but that is also a bit steep so right i'm just gonna pop some of this bronzer on it's gone on really nice on top of the foundation actually which is always good okay i'm really happy with that actually for a base um it looks a bit different in the camera because it's just a really weird light in here this is daylight and i look blue okay so just quickly did my eyebrows off camera um i don't know how this foundation's done it but the longer i'm leaving it on like the more it's settling i really really like it i really do i would highly recommend it you know i mean i know i know it's not the cheapest but this is the not one of the nicest foundations i've tried in a long time in fact i think the closest one that's a cheaper version that i like is the um the ordinary serum foundation and i love my bb cream for every day because let's face it i wouldn't wear this every single day because of the price of it but for going out it's a it's it's made my skin look the nicest it's looked in a long time like i haven't put a foundation on that i've loved so much as this i don't think ever <laughs> ever i'm really impressed with that really impressed um i will leave the price like i said below because it's not the cheapest but i don't think it's much more expensive than the estee lauder one um is it double wear that everybody wears like but that is too thick for me i've tried it i don't like it um so yeah this is a big big thumbs up for me like i say this is the luminous silk foundation in shade six really happy this concealer pen is also really good it hasn't like i say it hasn't gone into the lines um but i could take it or leave it for the price 
if I'm honest, because I paid like £10 for this one from Amazon. And this isn't that bad either. I'm so unsure because I'm, I'm such a penny pincher when it comes to spending money on makeup on myself. But yeah, I love this. I love, 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 love this. I think we've established that I love that. Um, yeah, cream bronzer next, hopefully. That'll be on my birthday wish list because um, I do want to give it a go. Although, pan shop bronzer, you know what I mean? You can't really go wrong. I don't know whether I'm going to bother doing my hair yet because it's a bit early. But I'm going to go and see what to wear for tonight because I've got no idea. So, I am actually going to include some of those things in my Christmas video because they are kind of what I've bought for myself to me from me um i have got a what i bought for christmas video which i am going to be filming after this one um kind of because i'm nosy i like to watch them i never want them to be braggy but i am interested in what people get for christmas because i just think it's really interesting mine isn't amazing isn't amazing because i had um one big present so i'm going to kind of share what i've had with my christmas money as well and that's coming up very very soon because it'll be like february before i get that uploaded and what else was going to be in this video oh i know so before i took my extensions out when i had them in i actually filmed a little section with my pro styler and that is because when i did my favorites video i actually had a lady comment um again i'm sorry because i do read all my comments so don't think that i'm not reading them and appreciating them by the way I just like i say i like to reply properly but one lady said um what about the looks air pro styler because it wasn't in your favorites and the reason being is because i had left it to do a separate video and with all the manic things that happened over christmas i didn't get around to doing it but i did film it I put that clip in now of me using this to curl my long hair okay, you at the most random angle i'm just coming in to try this um my looks up air pro, my looks air pro with my extensions in so my hair is pretty much almost dry but what i thought i would do is give it a go because when i actually tried the looks air pro last i had short hair and i did say i wondered what the barrels would be like and the power when i've got my extensions in so i thought i would put it to the test and here i am so it is a little bit dry here. I'm a bit concerned that I've let it dry too much. I'm going to try it with the curls. Just make sure. So that is for the right side. This is for the left side. I've got my Primark clips almost match. <laughs> How amazing. Okay, right, I'm just going to pop this in. I'm really excited to try this because I've got no idea how it's going to be in long hair. It's amazing in my short hair obviously this is going to put it to the test ah it still works i'm finding it a little harder because like i say it's not as powerful as the dyson was so it is harder to suck that hair up but really it's giving some good curls happy with that i didn't think it would i sound so pessimistic but i really was wondering how the power would hold up but if i'm honest that's cold it really really nice wasn't it Okay, I think I've missed a few bits, but I can't do too much because the boys are in bed. Do you know what? That is better than I expected. How good is that? Like I say, it's not as powerful as the Dyson, so I always like was worried on how it would be, and it's definitely more of a loose curl. I'm really happy with that. So yeah, I'm actually going to bed now, so it's probably going to be a waste. But I just wanted to see what it looked like on long hair. And uh, 
yeah quite pleased i think you probably noticed i had to like wrap it round i don't think the the air sometimes is was powerful enough to suck up the hair especially like the extensions because i think they do weigh a bit more but for a blow dry like, what do you think i mean i'm pretty happy with that yay if you just watch that little clip it is me using the pro styler this was kind of gifted to me transparency because i really wanted to test this against the dyson air app which there is a video here like i say over and over again the dyson air app definitely is amazing it is definitely better and i'm never gonna lie and as much as i love the looks air pro i won't ever i will always be transparent and say yeah the dyson air app is better but it's also like 400 pounds more and so just for the price comparison yes i do love this i do love this hair dryer this styler if i had the money and money wasn't an option i hands down would buy the dyson that is all i've ever said however like i say 400 pound less i absolutely love this styler i really really do i find that i use the blow dryer a lot more because i try to keep my hair straight and as little damage as possible with me bleaching it with it being thin and fine i like to try and keep it healthy as much as i can and as let as little heat as possible so i find that the barrel one this one um here is really really good it does not pull your hair at all like honestly i find that with this one you can see barely any hair comes out with it it is such a good brush um so yeah i do highly recommend the blow dryer styler set bit of it as well um but while we're talking about the looks air pro styler and ow i just got my finger in it Ow. I just wanted to say at this point again because you've probably watched this whole video and you're definitely a dedicated subscriber if you've got this far um I again just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me doing what I do there is <sighs> there is a lot of work that goes into it that you don't see and I always do it because I love to do it and I really do struggle sometimes in motivation and the fact I really struggle with um coming onto camera sometimes when I'm having really bad days and so I have been really struggling over the last couple of years with everything that's been happening with the homeschooling I was absent for such a long time because I had the kids at home I was really struggling to film and I don't know I just had I have had some really rocky moments over the last couple of years in my YouTube journey and to say that I've still got to 30,000 and to say that you are all still here and you are all supporting me and you're all so so lovely I genuinely couldn't ask for any more now yes some of my goals this year are to grow in numbers so i really want to get to 100k that is my long-term goal on youtube i just want that play button so bad <laughs> as much as we love to have that number goal it's not all about quantity you are engaged it is so nice to talk to you it's so nice for me to put up a video and know that you're going to enjoy watching it because you like watching me and we have kind of this relationship and as weird as that sounds like i know we're all not like physical friends but it's almost like a security to know that i have you guys there and it's just so so nice like i can't really explain it but i almost have this little support network that i know is there the reason i just wanted to say thank you was because i've hit it i've hit my 30k i've hit a milestone i've grown another 10,000 subscribers during 2021 which is more than i could ever ask for and to say thank you i am doing another giveaway yeah you're going to be sick of me but the amazing team over at Lux pro have actually sent me out another Lux styler Yes, my friends, I am giving this one away. So this one is the black edition and I really, really love it. I was so tempted to not tell you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me show you. So this is the black version. So this is mine here that I have. And oh, nearly, 
Oh, nearly. This is the version that I have, and then this is the one that I'm going to be giving away. It is the full set. So let me. Do you mind if I open it? Is that okay for me to open it? I know that you've seen inside mine, but I just want to show you what the black one looks like. Just don't want to get any of the protective stuff off. So as you open it up, it's all black with white stitching. It is absolutely stunning. And then inside you get the styler which is black and gold and the barrels are black and i'm almost hesitant to open this because i don't want to open it for somebody who's gonna have it but i just want to show you inside you get all the pieces inside as well so this is the Lux air pro black edition i will leave the link below for you to go and have a look at it but it is incredible, like I say. And one lucky subscriber can get their hands on one. All you need to do is comment down below looks and your name, and I will put you into the entry for this. I'm gonna run it for a week. Don't forget to enter and be in a chance of winning this to say thank you to you guys for 30,000 subscribers. And yeah, happy new year. I can't wait for this year i've got loads of planning and vision boards and just going to show a little bit more of what i'm trying to do behind the scenes to keep myself motivated because i really really struggled at the end of last year i really did which is kind of why i committed to doing like kind of doing more videos because i just felt like that gave me that extra push that i needed I hope you guys have an amazing 2022 and let's go and smash those goals until next time guys take care Bye. You said night.